Good morning once again. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Marlon Bledman and I'm one of your truck sales consultants here at this location. Today is no other day. No other special, sorry. Uh, today is no other day. Um, we're going to bring to you the uh, um, some of our inventory and today right behind me I got a 2020 Ram 1500 Sport Laramie Edition uh, four-wheel drive crew cab. So we're going to take a quick look and show you some of the cool features on this particular pickup truck. And as we take a cool glance at the, uh, the front end of the truck, just going to bring this down for a little bit. Just the design Dodge Ram comes up with that makes those trucks look so amazing um, with the big Ram sign uh, right in front on the front grille. Beautiful headlamps and of course fog lamps as well. This particular um, model of uh, the 1500 does come with front and rear sensors on there as well. So all those little knobs right here are the front sensor. Pretty cool, yep. So it actually, <laughs> they actually designed it into the, the black end of the, um, the black this, um, highlights on the truck. So you, if, you have, if you know what you're looking for, um, you know exactly um, what it looks like. But if you don't know what it is, once you look at it, it's like part of the design of the truck as well. And the way they designed the hood as well, if you could take a look at that, kind of looks like it has a ton of vents here um, just, just for, for a better look. Of course, it's a sports edition, so of course you have that sports look on that. And of course, like I said, it's a 1500. So you would see that 1500 stamp on there as well. And it shows you that Hemi 5.7 liter engine marking as well. As we take a look in the, under the hood, like I said, it's a 2020. This is brand new. This is just under 4,000 miles. And I did say that right under 4,000 miles. Um, so, Basically, this is brand new. Still smells brand new, still drives brand new. And um, right under the hood here, we'll find a 5.7 liter V8 Hemi VVT engine. Very easy to work on. And it has an eight speed automatic, eight HP 75 transmission. As you can see, like it's so, it's so spacious inside here that the mechanics and whoever needs to work on this is could see every component inside here as well, which is pretty awesome. And as I close the hood, as you can see, the hood is held up by hydraulics. So this is awesome. So you don't have to like, you know, have that metal um, pin to hook up here. So super easy to work on. As we take a look, look at the design of the, the Ram rims. As you can see, tons of tread, like this car hasn't been driven much um, at all, just, just under 4,000 miles. Um, we got Bridgestone tires here. And the size here is 275, 55-20s. So you got 20 inch rims on this truck. Beautiful design. Dodge does amazing work when it comes to um, their trucks. This, this truck also comes equipped with uh, blind spot monitors. So for this one in particular, normally you have those two cars on your, um, your, your mirrors. So for this one is a triangle. So once this is lit um, orange, um, you know somebody is on the right or left side of you on your blind spot. So that's a good thing to look out for. Um, it does come with the option of uh, keyless entry um, and keyless lock. So all you need to have the key on you. Um, this black button here is to lock the vehicle. And of course you will hear that horn blow. And when you open it, just your hands inside the lock. And as you can see, it opened the truck. Lock, open, pretty awesome. I'm just gonna have Cherish just uh, show inside 
very quickly. Um, leather interior. So you got that um, black interior, leather trim bucket seats. Um, as we can see on the door here, we do have two memory settings for your memory seats. So both uh, driver side and passenger side is powered seats. So, um, but for the driver, you have two memory seats here, power windows, power locks, and it actually has that um, closing mirrors as well. So it's pretty awesome when you park next to people and they tend to hit your mirrors a lot. So you could actually park and close those mirrors um, as needed. Um, does have adjustable um, pedals. So this actually would adjust to your comfort level. The packing brake is electric. So you have that packing brake button right here. Once it lit red, so the packing brake is on. And then once you press it down and the light is off, the light goes off. That means you are driving. Um, you do have your um, lights here as well. You got an automatic lighting, which I prefer most time just have it on automatic. So once it, once it gets dark, um, your lights come on automatically. And of course you have your fog lights button here and then your, um, your back end light for the bed of the truck here as well. On the steering wheel, I'll have Cherish take a closer look. It does have your hands-free calling um, on the right side here, on the left side and then you have your cruise control on the right side. Behind the steering wheel right here, there are both sides of the steering. Um, that one side um, on the left side um, is to change the, the stations or change the songs on your stereo system. And then on the right side has the same button right here is to adjust your volume. So you don't have to be um, going into the, uh, the, the system, the deck you know, every time you want to change um, songs or raise the volume or lower the volume. So it's right here on the steering wheel, so it's very easy accessible. Um, you got some cup holders here as well in the doors, which is which comes very handy um, if you have extra bottles and stuff instead of um, you have additional space here as well. Tons of room in the back if for those people who have animals um, dogs, cats, you know, you could put the dog crate in here or just lay a dog bed right here. Um, you could put all the seats up, of course, make a, more room for your, for your pets or even for storage to put your groceries inside here. If you don't want to put it in the bed of your truck, tons of room here as well. Charging ports, um, we got two USB ports here as well. And of course, you got your uh, 110 plug-in as well. So beautiful, beautiful inside. Um, once you put all the seats down, you could seat three people easily in the back here. And of course, if you only have two people, you could actually bring this down and you have your cup holders and you have like a little storage compartment here as well, which could come in handy for, you know, storing or hiding stuff away from the family. <laughs> um, you got your fuel tank right here. As you can see, it's capless. And it does uh, approximately has uh, 26 gallons. So 26 gallon gas tank. As we continue, you can see the sports sticker on here. So just to show you, it's the sports model. The back of the truck, of course, Laramie edition um, trim um, with a 4x4 logo here and of course the Dodge Ram logo. It does have a bumper pool um, feature on this truck which uh, maximum towing capacity is about 12,000 pounds which is super awesome for 1500. Um, so um, yeah, you do have that back sensors like I show you in the front. Those are actually into the design of the black trim on the truck so it actually blends in. You have your four pin hookup and your seven pin hookup as well um, right here for your bumper pool. You do have a backup camera on here so it shows you that. Soft open with Rhino lining um, inside the bed as well so when you have stuff in here scratches and stuff 
could easily be avoided just with that type of bed liner on there as well. It does come with a back window. This window actually slides in and out so you could actually get air from the back end of that uh, of the truck. Uh, Dodge has their own WeatherTech mat so um, easily for easy cleaning. Um, you have that option here as well, both front and back. So during the winter, um, if you go in rough areas where there's mud or dust or whatever, once you go on that, you could always pull this out, spray it down with a hose, and you're good to go. Like I said, the passenger seat is also um, powered. So you have that option here for both front um, driver and passenger side. Tons of uh, storage in the glove compartment comes with all the manuals that you need. Like I said, it's pretty much a brand new truck. Still smells new. And plus you have a little storage compartment here as well for people who have, you know, put their conceals and all that stuff in here. Pretty awesome. As we take a look inside, show you some amazing features. And then if you guys have any questions and stuff, like we always do, feel free to give us a call and we'll answer any of your questions. If you wanna come in and actually look at the truck, we could do that as well. Um, as we begin here, we're gonna start in the center console. You have two cup holders here for the back seat. Um, you also have two cup holders here as well. Plenty of storage, plus a USB charging port here. And as we open it up again, plenty of storage down here. And this actually moves for you to different angles um, of more storage as well. So you can put stuff here and there's actually a level um, that shows you the max level on here, which is awesome. So you know how high um, whatever you store inside here could go so you to, to allow you to move this back and forth. You have another 110 hookup down here as well, one in the back, one in the front. So that's pretty cool. Gives you more options. And then you have a, a area to store your phones while driving so your phone is not in your hand. So you could actually put your charger in and run the cord between here and then actually plug it into USB 1 or 2. So um, you don't have to have your, your phone anywhere. So when you're driving, it moves from side to side. Um, as you can see, a huge screen. Almost looks like you're driving a Tesla, but <laughs> I love the way Dodge Ram um, put that in here. Um, so I'm just going to start this up quickly. It's a very quiet truck, which is awesome. Um, it does have a few options here in the settings where you could change the language, the display, change the unit. Um, of course, you could change the time, date, uh, the camera settings, um, safety, driving assistance. So you could actually, with your packing sensors, you could actually you know, choose high volume or low volume for whatever, um, whatever you want in there. So your settings here, and it shows you your blind spot um, alerts. So if you want it to, if you want the lights to, to come on and uh, or, or the charms, or you could put just the light, or you could turn it off completely. You have plenty of options here as well. Um, the screen actually splits in two, so you have options of either having the navigation on top um, and the music in the bottom. So you have options of um, splitting the screen in two. So whatever you, you decide to, uh, to put on here, you have the options listed down here as well. So once you put the navigation on both ends, like it would just choose one of them. You don't, you cannot have the full screen. Um, but of course, if you want that full screen here, um, you just go down to any of the buttons down here and of course you have that full navigation screen up here. It does come with Sirius, X, Sirius XM radio, um, FM radio, Bluetooth. Um, it does come with Apple and Android Play. Um, so it has tons of options. Let me just show you the quality of the cameras as well. Look at how sweet and clear the cameras are. You could actually zoom in and zoom out on the camera system which is actually super awesome. Um, you have heated seats, vented seats, so AC seats, and you have that heated um, steering wheel for the winter time. So you got, you got a lot of options in this uh, particular um, Ram 1500. 
It does come with Alpine stereo system. Um, what else? Um, you could turn on and off the uh, packing sensors. So you have the front, you have the front and rear. And then you, once you tow in, you have that tow in and uh, hauling um, capability to, tur to let the truck know that you are hauling, so you are in a tow mood. And you could turn that off at any time once you're not towing anything. You do have the, tiller, the trailer brake system in this truck as well. So this is actually um, a good feature to have, especially when towing um, campers or um, any bumper pools and stuff like that. The uh, guest stick is a little bit different. It's a wheel. So right now we're in park. All you have to do is turn the wheel in the direction of the, the different uh, options, reverse, neutral, and drive. So you could actually go all the way to drive um, just by turning the wheel. So right now I'm going to put it back in park. Um, your option here for your four-wheel drive system here. So you have your four-wheel auto. So if you put that in auto, um, it would actually put you in all-wheel drive. Um, or you could go four, four high or four low. Or you could just stick in two-wheel drive as well. So plenty of options. Uh, plenty of safety features. Like you have your your assistance up here. Um, you just uh, register with Dodge and their uh, system assistant assistant um, package they have. So if you, in case of an emergency, you could you could actually press one of those buttons. The red one SOS, of course, is for emergency and fire stuff to head your way. And of course, assistance if you have any questions about the vehicle or about different uh, um, areas you want to go, or if you have a question about, you know. Um, finding a place or whatever like that you could actually find assistance with that it does have uh, your garage controls up here as well which is a good feature to have instead of having that um, that garage door opener you know clip on here you could actually have that option here as well with the window I showed you in the back um, this is the rear window um, button right here it actually opens here to give you some cool air um, in in the cab and you can actually close that this one doesn't come with a sunroof so um, you have that option of getting some fresh air with the windows down or just that back window open so um, like I said this is a 2020 uh, Dodge Ram 1500 Sport Laramie trim uh, this right now has 3800 miles on the on the button right now so this is very low mileage for 2020. Um, people might wonder why that person traded that in, and we have the answer for you. So if you want that question answered, please feel free, give us a call. Uh, my name is Marlon Bledman one more time. Our office number is 303-684-3412. Or you could call me on my cell, 661-755-4344. Or you could email me, marlon.bledman at transwest.com. If you guys have any questions, want to know the price of this truck or any of our inventory, give us a call and I will be happy to assist you. Um, until we meet again, um, I'll be back here on Friday for another video. So feel free to hit us up, come and visit us here at Frederick in Colorado, Transwest Truck Trailer RV. Saying goodbye and see you again.